What's up everyone and welcome back to another MC Mod Showcase YouTube video. Before we get into today's new video, I want to thank you guys so much for 10,000 subscribers. We finally hit the 5 digit number and I'm so happy you guys enjoy my videos enough to subscribe. Since we've hit this milestone, I will now be announcing a brand new series. It's called Daily Minecraft Mods. This series will be covering 5 Minecraft mods in a single video, but I will be posting every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday with this new series. This will offer much more content while still having its similar quality videos I already have. These videos will be shorter, but I will be uploading much, much more. I also would like to announce my new Twitch channel. If you guys would like to, make sure to click the link in my bio to follow my new Twitch channel for upcoming live streams. I'll be setting up my live streams very soon, so make sure to look out for that. So, with all that out of the way, here are 10 underrated Minecraft mods for both Forge Fabric and 1.16 and 17 versions. The first mod we have on this list is the Timeless and Classics mod. Timeless and Classics adds brand new guns into Minecraft with very special and awesome animations tied to these weapons. Going over these weapons, you will find an M1911 pistol, an M1894 lever action gun, a 1851 revolver, a M1928 SMG, an M60 LMG, a double barrel shotgun, a double barrel short shotgun, and much more. There's also different ammo types to choose from for your specialized weapon of choice. Every weapon here is very fun to play with. Fetter Scarecrows is a very useful mod that scares off any unwanted mobs away from anything important. For example, you can place one of these scarecrows next to your farm with your important crops that you don't want to be ruined. You could also place this next to your home, that way hostile mobs can't be near your home when trying to sleep at night. There's also an upgrade to these scarecrows. By putting a costume on your scarecrow, you will now have your scarecrow scare away even more mobs that weren't scared before. This is a very useful and much needed mod in Minecraft. The Shred Nether mod adds brand new high quality nether like creatures that spawn in specific nether biomes. The first creature is the Weeping Stroller. This creature lurks in the warped forest and is actually peaceful. The Leechhound creature lurks in the Crimson Forest and is very small but agile. This creature can be dangerous since it can actually heal itself whenever it bites you. The Red Jobber is a flying creature that will sometimes attack you. It's pretty easy to dodge this creature. And lastly is the Soul Beast which spawns in a brand new biome called the Soul Sand Valley. This creature is a massive and fast monster made up of various dead animals that will charge at the player with full speed causing some good damage. This is a great mod to enhance the nether by just a little bit. Universal Ores is strictly a 1.17 mod that adds a brand new variety of block variants for ores. As you can see here, there's Andesite, Diorite, Granite, and tough that generate naturally with the ores inside of them. This makes the game feel a little bit more immersive and just makes it a lot more sense. These blocks finally have a good purpose to them. Dragon Loot is a mod that adds to the Ender Dragon's defeat and now drops Dragon Scales. These new Dragon Scales adds dragon themed items into Minecraft. You can now craft brand new dragon armor, which is more powerful than netherite. You will need to have already existing netherite armor in order to upgrade to the dragon armor. You can even upgrade an anvil into a dragon anvil, which never breaks when used. Very useful and worth the grind in defeating the ender dragon. The next mod we have is a very simple mod called Smooth Swapping. What this mod does is it now adds a new animation whenever you place items in a chest. It's a very simple animation as you can see, and provides a bit more of a personality to your inventory. It's very simple, yet so satisfying to watch as well. The Young's Better Portals mod officially expands on the portals in Minecraft. What this mod aims to do is essentially rework the way all the portals look. You won't be able to make a nether portal anymore, and you will have to explore in the overworld underground to find these new nether structures. These new structures have dimensional rifts that you can enter. However, these rifts only let you enter the nether, so you'll have to find another way to go back to the overworld. In order to get out, you will have to find a monolith that has a black beam shooting in the sky. You will need to power this beam with 4 golden blocks. Once you do that, 
You will then start to float in the beam, and you will then teleport back to the overworld. This can make the portal system in Minecraft much more interesting and fun. LNI Dodge 2 is a very fun and simple mechanic that allows you to dodge with your character. You will now have a new hotbar that shows blue feathers. These blue feathers show how many times you can dodge before your character gets tired. You can dodge anywhere you like, and it can seriously help you when it comes to mobs like skeletons, or just traversing through your world faster by running and dodging forward. The weapon throw mod allows you to simply throw your weapons and tools and adds three new enchantments. All you have to do to throw your weapons is to simply hold Alt and Q together, and you will then throw your weapon. The first new enchantment in this mod is the Grounded Edge enchantment. This new enchantment gives weakness to your targets. The Concussion enchantment gives slowness and nausea. And the Throw enchantment allows you to throw your weapon with more damage on the weapon. A very neat mod for your world, and could be tons of fun to play with your friends. Darker Depths is a very polished and well-created mod that adds more more to caves in the overworld. The Molten Cavern, Sandy Catacombs, and the Glow Shroom Forest are three new biomes you can find in these caves. A new item called the Glow Shroom Cap is a wearable hat that gives you haste and also gives Optifine players a light source. The Molten Cavern is a somewhat dangerous location, with its lava and ash particles all over your screen. The Sandy Catacombs is a very interesting biome that has a new silver ore you can find. It's got lots of roots and other very detailed blocks inside of it. Lastly, the Glow Shroom Forest is a beautiful new biome full of lush and vibrant, colorful mushrooms all over the place. This biome is very beautiful and would be amazing to place your home or make a village with this new biome in this mod. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. Again, thank you so much for 10,000 subscribers and make sure to look out for the new daily Minecraft mod series and follow my Twitch channel. Anyways, I'll see you guys in the next MC Mod Showcase YouTube video.